Hi, and welcome to HUDKing.com, your source for real virtual tours of HUD homes in and around the San Antonio and Houston area. I've been specializing in HUD homes since 1996, and in 2012, I started filming real virtual tours like the one you're about to watch. So connect with me by clicking on one of our social media links, or if you're watching this video on YouTube, click the subscribe button to be instantly notified of new uploaded videos. Now on to the home. We are here in Texas City. Texas City is located southeast of Houston going towards Galveston. We are in the Mainland Park neighborhood. We're standing in front of 609 20th Avenue North. That's 609 20th Avenue North. This is a four bedroom, two bath, single story home. It is approximately 1,922 square feet and it was built in 1978. The home sits on a large 10,400 square foot lot and it is about $46,000 underneath the county appraisal. Quite a bit under the uh, tax value. It does have an in-ground pool and it is eligible for HUD's $100 down payment incentive. The exterior of this home is a cedar shake siding and it will need some repairs. It's also going to need a little bit of roof repair or rather the soffit and fascia because as you can see at the corner here, there is evidence of some wood rot and then along the fascia here you'll notice there is some wood rot there or some water damage. But that's, you know, kind of understood for the home of this age. Nice little porch. Let's take a look at the backyard and then we'll look at the inside. Well, you actually have two ways to get into the backyard. This is a sliding glass door off of the kitchen. It takes you out to the side of the home. When you're at the side of the home, you do have this driveway that brings you right back into your backyard. There is a detached one car garage with a workshop, but it has a pretty good sized backyard. And you can see they kind of minorly repaired the soffit and fascia here. You'll want to come back and do that right. You have a nice back patio, back porch here, a little sitting area. We'll investigate the garage and then we'll look at the pool area. So we come into the one car garage. It's been finished out. You have some storage up top. We come through this little doorway here and you actually have a sliding glass door that takes you out into your pool area. You have some shelves that need to be adjusted, but you have this little workshop area here which is kind of nice. Now there's another way to get into the backyard and those that would be these sliding glass doors here. Had a little bit of an issue trying to open them so they probably need to be adjusted or even replaced but once you come out to the backyard from there that is actually off of a little sunroom off of your kitchen living area. We come into the backyard it does have an in-ground pool as you can see it's covered for safety reasons. And you'll definitely want to put a fresh coat of paint and repair some of the rotted wood. But a really good sized backyard. And w along with the $100 down payment incentive loan, you can even borrow money to do a, a lot of the repairs. So that's kind of a neat program. And this home, you know, even if you borrowed money for repairs, you probably would still be under about $1,100, $1,200 a month. And that's borrowing probably $30,000 to $40,000 to repair the home. That's a really great program if you're an owner, occupant, buyer. So that's the outside. Let's look at the inside. Well, when we step into the home, we are immediately into the original living room, which is right up front. It does have wood floors. It could probably be salvaged if you get a good wood flooring company out here. I like these windows here. They give you a lot of natural lighting into this main living room. Now, it appears that there are a few additions on the home, so you might want to come in and, and really touch it up because it could be a really great home. This is the dining room, which is probably the original dining. It's going to need some ceiling work, as you can see. If we turn to the right here, we have your kitchen and then we have this second large family room here. So this is kind of a neat space. And then we obviously have access into your kitchen here. It's a huge pantry. It's going to need countertops. Uh, it's going to probably need cabinetry, flooring, pretty much a whole remodel. But the price of this home is really, really uh, reasonable. And I think this could be a fantastic remodel for somebody if you needed a big home. Now over at this end is where we have that sunroom that takes you out to the backyard. And this is obviously an addition here. They poured a new slab. You have your laundry room, so your washer and dryer connections are in here along with your water heater. Coming in from the front door, we go down this hallway to the bedrooms. And this is actually the side that's actually really large. So you have bedroom one right here. This is one of the bedrooms. And unfortunately, because they closed in that laundry room, there's no window in this bedroom. So I'll maybe consider putting a skylight in. I think that'd be a nice, easy way to lighten up that room. Right across the hallway over here, we have bedroom number two. They built in some bookshelves in here. I would probably pull that out, redo the closets, and redo the flooring. 
Continuing down this wide hallway to the left here, we have bathroom number one, which will need to be a complete remodel. It's a shower and tub combo. It's obviously kind of gross. Around the corner here, you have a little, little vanity, which is nice. And then we have your sink vanity here and your commode. So you could really remodel that bathroom because it's so big very nicely. Down the hallway here, we have bedroom number three. Bedroom number three, obviously we'll need flooring, painting, some sheetrock work. You have a little coat closet here. And there is a little access under here that takes you into that bedroom number one closet, which is kind of an interesting setup. And then at the back of the home here is where we have bedroom number four or your master bedroom and your master bathroom, which will need painting, flooring. And then we come into your master bathroom here, which is almost like an afterthought. This may have been an addition after the fact because you have a kind of a cramped space for your vanity there. And then through this little cramped space, we have your shower and tub combo. So you could really open this up, remodel it, maybe even turn that first bedroom into an additional large master bath, making it a three bedroom. It has a lot of potential, and as I said, it's over $40,000 underneath the county appraisal. Let me give you a summary. Well, there you have it, 609 20th Avenue North. That's 609 North 20th Avenue North, a nice four bedroom, two bath, single story home, about $46,000 underneath the county appraisal. It's eligible for the $100 down payment incentive HUD is offering. You can even borrow money to do repairs, and it's listed right now for only $87,000. So if you're interested in this home or you have any questions, please call me at 210-706-0616. My name is Jonathan. I am the HUD King, and I want to help you find your castle.